and McLaughlin told me earlier today, I've just got to get through the start and then settle into a rhythm. This is the Expel 375. Somebody's gone out there. Green, 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 green. Time. And Felix Rosenquist leads the field to green. It was one of the Maya Shank cars that went a little early. It was Elio Castro Neves. I think that might have been Alexander Rossi looking for a big jump. Meanwhile, everybody's going to try to fight to get to the low line. It's the Expel Chevrolet that leads the way to the green flag, Scott McLaughlin. But keep your eye on the car, fourth in line. Colton Herter, that yellow and black Gainbridge Honda, he's been flying. And side by side, Marcus Erickson making the high line work. Looks like Renus VK as well, trying to go around Joseph Newgarden there. Almost makes it stick but very racy back further in the field. ...came out, they now run third and fourth. It's a Penske one, two, three, with McLaughlin, Newgarden, power, look at power jump in that red and black Verizon Chevy trying to get the leap on his teammate. Here comes Ericsson on his teammate in that red and white current Colton Herter in that second line on the high side, trying to go around the outside arenas. VK doesn't work. Texas Motor Speedway win. His teammate Ericsson's growing a little impatient. Everybody's looking to get the jump as the green flag flies. It's a Penske 1-2-3. Dixon trying to stop that, looking for an option. Herder, VK, they're working on Ericsson. You rejoin us with 100 laps to go here at Texas Motor Speedway, and we are going. Let's hope we can get into a rhythm here. Scott McLaughlin restarts the field once again. Dixon in that bright orange and blue PNC band Honda looks to the inside and has to defend. Here goes Renus VK up and around at Marcus Ericsson, wheel to wheel. That gets us to the end at this point. We're going to have to hope for a caution. And Colton Herta got a fuel number and went, what? Like that's what they're getting behind the wheel right now, having to save a massive amount of fuel if they're going to make it.